Hello TMA students and families. Uh, this is Sabonim Espy and I'm here to talk a little bit today about our life skills stripes. These stripes are an important part of the Piamudo Kids program. We've got four uh, life skills stripes. We've got home, school, community service, and our goal stripe. The, the stripes are meant to emphasize effort, not outcomes. There's another video on this channel that you can check out that has uh, more information about our philosophy around effort over achievement. Basically, I've had a lot of instructors in, in my experience, people who are my teachers, who have offered uh, stripes for students for doing specific things in the home or in the school. For instance, if they got specific grades or in the home if they were making their bed, if they were using polite language like saying sir and ma'am and please, if they were keeping their room clean or helping with the dishes after dinner. It is, it's very commonplace for uh, martial arts instructors to have children and parents fill out a, a checklist to make sure that kids are doing what they need to do there to earn a stripe for their home, uh, earn a stripe for their school. What I have realized over time is for some kids, it doesn't really matter that much. They're already getting good grades, or they're already inclined to make their bed or keep their room clean, that kind of thing. Or, making their bed is the least of their issues. So children are excited about our program. They're, they're excited about the classes and it creates a lot of positive energy that uh, we can use to create positive changes in their behavior and their understanding of their lives. So rather than us arbitrarily creating um, some, uh, some activities to focus that positive energy, doing things like make, ha having them make their bed or get specific grades or, or that kind of thing, we take the, that leverage and we, we put the lever in the parents' hands. What I mean by that is parents decide what it is that they're going to be doing to earn their home stripe, to earn their community service stripe. Uh, parents and or teachers will decide what the child needs to do to earn their school stripe. Um, and then the goal stripe, that there's another video to kind of get into what the goal stripe in, but in a nutshell, that is uh, something that the child comes up with. Uh, they come up with a goal that they're excited about, and then they, um, they create and implement um, a, a series of action steps towards that and they can work with parents to get a, a, uh, an understanding of how to create those action steps. Now the intention of all this is not to create busy work for the kids or to add more weight to parents already busy and stressful uh, schedules. It is meant to give parents a new and powerful tool to help raise their kids and instill their family's values. So as your child moves through the curriculum, uh, they're going to get uh, many opportunities to uh, earn their stripes and for, because we have these at every belt level. You can work with your child's instructors to uh, come up with good effort-based goals for them to be working on for their home, school, community service, and goal stripes. And um, they can help you kind of help guide you through the process. Remember, you can take the short view We've got some things that we need to deal with now. That's what we're going to work on um, for this particular stripe, uh, for this particular belt. Or you can take the long view where you're seeing you've got several years that your child is going to be working on their junior black belt and there's many belts in between white belt and junior black belt. So there's all of these, um, these landmarks, the, these opportunities to um, have a larger strategy. For instance, if your child is uh, having some issues around respectful behavior, you can have um, their senior white belt uh, home strike be about uh, using polite language when they're at home and addressing family members. So uh, saying, sir, ma'am, please, thank you, this kind of thing. Then at the next belt level, you can have them uh, not leave their uh, stuff on the floor when they first get home. It's a community area and it's respectful to the needs of others and this, this community space to not leave your stuff scattered all over the place. And then the next belt level you come up with another res uh, respect oriented um, project and it just 
kind of goes like this, and you're looking at respect, the, the concept of respect, from a lot of different directions. And, and you can have something in between. It, you can have some short-term things that you've got to deal with because this is what's coming up now in your child's life. Um, and in the background, you can keep coming back to a larger goal. Either way, it works fine. And that is an introduction to our life skills stripes. Thank you for watching.